Well, I was born in Brooklyn Heights, which was, you know, basically a middle class experience. But then when I was nine, I moved to Bed Stuy. And um, at that time, you know, before gentrification, that was the hood for real. So I was a graffiti writer growing up, and I, I met some graffiti writers uh, in that neighborhood that also happened to be criminals. And, um, you know, I still had a pretty good childhood. You know, my, my stepfather was a Tai Chi and yoga instructor. My mother was an herbologist and reflexologist. So I had a kind of esoteric experience at home. But, you know, then I was in the train yards and I was in the street. And, you know, I was running around doing what, um, you know, what, what my people was doing at that time. So my childhood, it, it, it was just, it was a mix, a mix of all things, you know, um, you know, from the, from the crime side to the, I was about to say high side, <laughs> to the, um, you know, more refined cultural and conscious, you know, side. In 2008, I did a film for the New Jersey Institute of Social Justice, and a woman from the Star Ledger, Carrie Stetler, she did an article on my film, you know, we basically launched this together. Then another good friend of mine, Fiyemi Shakur, who writes for The Vibe, used to write for The Source, writes for Uptown Magazine. She had a lot of experience in the magazine world, so she's like, yo, let me help you all piece this together, right? Then she bought Michael Gonzalez, who writes for the London Telegraph, The Village Voice, uh, Double XL, New Yorker. Because of uh, her relationship with him, she showed him what we were doing. He came on board. And I asked my mentor, Jamel Shabazz, you know, who, you know, like world renowned, respected photographer. And he got a lot of published um, books. And, you know, he was like, no problem, whatever you need. But Hassad was born in May of 2011, which is, you know, still, so it's not a year old. But the, the idea, you know, was born in 2006. My target audience is really wide. It's like the fine art world, it's like social justice students, it's cats on the block, it's um, the same people who read the vibe, XSL and Source, you know, hip hop lovers and appreciation of that culture, it's skateboard kids, and it's the, the ones that are seeking consciousness, but still kind of get and are still kind of down to earth, you know, so they can still see, you know, the purity in what I do. I'm probably biased, man, but it, it probably be the story I wrote about guns and my experience with guns, you know, the lack of understanding of who these gun-toting little boys out here really is, man. These just boys looking for power, and I know because I was one of them, so I just really identify with that story because I ain't no real criminal, I ain't no thug, none of that, but, you know, for 10 years, I was playing with all kinds of guns. So that story is just true to my heart. People say you, you have to have a lot of passion for what you're doing, and it's totally true. And the reason is, uh, is because it's so hard that if you don't, any rational person would give up. It's really hard, and you have to do it over a sustained period of time. So if you don't love it, if you're not having fun doing it, you don't really love it, uh, you're going to give up. This is my heart right here. This is everything that I appreciate, that other people are scared of, that other people fear, neglect, or stigmatize due to lack of understanding, you know, I get it, cause I am it, and I come from this. So, you know, this is the unification point. High Side Magazine, Subculture, Art, and Conflict, highside.com, H-Y-C-I-D-E, don't forget that. Don't forget my name either, Akintola Hanif. Don't forget my son name either, Jasiri Hanif, cause that's who this is all for. Uh, um, if you don't love it, you're gonna fail. So you gotta love it, you gotta have passion.